My name is Vesa Jutila. I'm one of the co-founders of Hatch Entertainment. Uh, a bit of my personal background, before we founded Hatch last year, uh, I held some executive positions at the Rovio in Finland. Uh, for example, I was running Rovio's commercial operations globally, uh, working very closely with all our key partners across the world. Uh, also, very interesting to hear Mikael talk about China as a market. In 2015, I was uh, running the Rovio business in China, based in Shanghai, as the general manager for the Greater China region. So I can fully, fully kind of echo what was said already, that it's a huge and, and growing market in the games business, but uh, not that easy to, to really get things work when you're a Western, Western company. But today... Uh, I really want to talk about how Finland helped us hatch or create the world's first cloud gaming service for mobile. So pretty advanced stuff what we are doing. So in the very beginning, so we oriented or our heritage comes from Rovio background. So we started this as an internal venture inside Rovio Entertainment a couple of years back already. And then last summer, 2016, we made the decision to spin off Hatch out of Rovio. And uh, that was, of course, very important and a big decision for us, but we felt that it was really the right thing to do to gain independence and really establish Hatch as a self-standing brand and operations in the, in the industry. So we are currently uh, roughly 25 employees, most of us located in, in Finland. Um, and, and really from the very beginning, we set out to roll out a global service business. And, and that is of course one thing why I will be discussing today a bit that why being based in Finland is actually a great starting position for going global. But maybe first a few words about what Hatch is all about. So, like I said, so Hatch is the world's first cloud gaming service for mobile. So we are basically fundamentally changing the way you play mobile games. So we bring a great collection of premium mobile games available to users very easily on demand. So it's like Netflix of games. You no longer need to download anything onto your phone. Instead, you have the Hatch application in your phone. And then within the application, if you find a great game, what you want to try, you want to play, you just press play to play. It's as simple as listening a song from Spotify or watching a movie from Netflix. And if you look what's been happening in the broad entertainment industry, every single other form of media and entertainment has gone streaming based on demand, except gaming. And we believe that the time is now right to bring the mobile games to the cloud as well. We also bring a very unique set of social features to this experience. So you can very easily share the best moments of the games what you are playing with your friends. You can like these posts, you can comment these posts, and you can even share these posts with your friends outside of Hatch to other social media, to other networks. So we bring this rich social experience in the gaming context in a very intuitive and very easy fashion. So it's like a social network, but in the gaming context. And then last but not least, we believe that gaming should be a fun experience where you have fun with your friends. Therefore, on Hatch, every game can be played together with your friends. So we bring this kind of unique, shared single-player, multiplayer feature on all games you have on Hatch, not only the multiplayer games, but any single player game can be played together. Because that's what we believe will make games even more of a fun experience. And I'm available here today, uh, if you want to come and see the real demo, I'm, I'm happy to show you what, what the Hatch is all about.
But maybe a couple of comments now and, and my, my kind of thoughts on what, what dr kind of uh, drove us to do a spin-off from Rovio. Uh, my background personally before Rovio was at Nokia. Uh, I started my career at Nokia uh, probably 15 years ago in 2001 in the Nokia Ventures organization. It was an organization inside Nokia for internal venturing, a place where we tried to create and we're creating new businesses, seeding new sources of growth avenues inside the Nokia, Nokia's big business footprint. And I've been observing and, and seeing it so personally that how difficult it can be to try to create a new business inside an existing organization. So I've really seen it that, you know, it's great that big companies or established operations are innovating and creating new seeds for growth, but many, many times pretty often it's very difficult to maintain that growth and that momentum inside an existing organization that is typically focusing on very different things with different priorities, and it's very difficult to justify investments and management time on the small startup inside the company. So that's why at least I've seen that it always makes the best sense to spin off a new entity as long as we, we see that there's a kind of a lucrative business opportunity what the company can then go after and, and really start growing against, against for. So that's one thing. And, and in Rovio as well, we have been very successful during the years to create new businesses. So, for example, uh, Rovio was very actively uh, in the animations business and created a kind of big animations franchise around the Agribirds brand. Uh, in the similar fashion, uh, Rovio also created a separate publishing business for books, books publishing. That was spun off also some time back into a new company called Kaiken Entertainment. And also, uh, Rovio started a lot of new businesses around learning. And in a similar fashion, uh, there was a spin-off into a new company called Fan Ag Academy that is now a fully independent company focusing on learning solutions. So it made perfect sense that when we started Hatch and the creation of a totally new kind of streaming-based game service inside the Rovio organization, then when the time was right that we saw that we have a product in place, it works, we can make it, it made tons of sense then to spin it off into an independent company and, and give us the room and space to have full focus on what we, we need to do and focus on our strategy, on our plans. And then, of course, at the same time, Rovio could continue to focus on mobile games and the brand licensing business, what is their core, so, so that's kind of the rationale why this uh, very interesting business opportunity we felt was better to be separated from the originating organization. Then, of course, the theme of today is that why Finland is such a great place to do very interesting innovations and setting up new businesses. So, at least personally, I claim that what we are doing today at Hatch, creating a very new kind of way of consuming games as a streaming experience, I believe that we couldn't have done this anywhere else except in Finland. And the main reason is that Finland has a very unique talent pool. So we've heard today already a lot about that there's a lot of gaming and mobile gaming competence and experience in Finland. That's amazing starting point for doing anything related to gaming. But what we are doing is not only games, it's also developing a very advanced technologies, how to run games in the cloud center in the, in, in the distance and being able to play on your phone in real time with no latencies and with no disruptions. It's super difficult stuff. And thanks to the Nokia legacy we have in Finland, we also have a huge pool of talent in the more advanced mobile technology areas. 
So what we were able to do is that we basically, when we established the Hatch organization, we picked the best talent from Rovio, what related to mobile games business, understanding the game cloud operations, also the mobile advertising business model and operations. But then we also handpicked from the other talent pool in Finland, the best talent related to more advanced graphics, rendering, streaming technology, cloud technologies, expertise, to put together a unique mix of talent that can do what we have now basically demonstrated that is, is doable. And, and therefore, it's kind of no wonder that the company that brings now to market the world's first cloud gaming service for mobile is coming from Finland, because I know personally that the individuals we have in our team on the technology side especially are super rare on this planet. And, and I don't believe that, you know, it will be very easy for anybody else to kind of find that kind of mix of talent uh, pretty much anywhere else. Of course, we have a few select individuals also from outside Finland, because we also had to go and really pick the couple of other crucial talents from, from other countries. But like I said, the bulk of the team is, is based in, in Finland, and that's where the core of the operations is, is taking place. And then we, we heard also about the Finland's geographical position today a bit. I was hearing today somebody saying that we are up there in the north, very small place. But actually, when you are building a global business, uh, it's a perfect spot to be. In my job, I'm responsible for putting together the game catalog. I'm, I've been traveling across the planet for the last 16, 18 months, meeting with basically all the great game studios on this planet. And Finland is a great base to do it from. It's eight hours to New York. It's eight hours to Beijing. Europe is just there. Uh, and thanks to Finnair, uh, the great Finnish airlines, the connections to Asia are fabulous. You have so multiple connections to China, Japan, Korea, Hong Kong, Singapore. So it's just a great hub. And, and of course, it's not only uh, the, the kind of the location as such, but uh, as my good friend Peter Westerbakka, the, the ex-mighty eagle from Rovia, always says, Helsinki is the capital of Eurasia. So we believe, like, in culturally as well, Finland and Helsinki is kind of at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. And we've kind of learned to deal with very different cultures in terms of business. We are really fluent with dealing with Asian cultures, Asian companies, with U.S. companies, with European companies. And, and there's kind of very good experience in Finland how to deal with international partnerships, because like mentioned today earlier, if you want to do business in Finland, you need to go abroad, because the domestic market is so small. So that's a great starting point. And then if you basically even look at the hard facts in Finland, we have a very advanced infrastructure in place in terms of IT, networking, communications. In Finland, we have probably the best quality mobile networks on the planet. So of course, when you are building something very advanced, something very new in terms of advanced mobile technologies, Finland is a spot and place to try things out and, and really see that, okay, what can these things look like in the future when also all the other 7 billion people on this planet have similar connectivity in their pocket all the time as we do in Finland. So another notion what... Mikael, the other Mikael was telling today was the trust. And I also wanted to talk about global partners and partnering with trust. And, and here I also claim that when you need to build a big network of partners and really bet, on you, bet your business on other partners to play along, being a Finnish company is a great asset. Like we heard already today, when a Finn says that, you know, we will do it, trust me, people trust you. 
we have a great heritage and great reputation that, that we are reliable, solid partners. And, and that has helped us as, as well tremendously. So we have currently more than 60 partners signed as content partners across the world. And when we come with our background, with Rovio Heritage from Finland, and I give a call to Ubisoft, for example, I say that, hey, we are going to change the game play totally. We will totally change the way people play games. Everybody says that, okay, I want to hear more. They, they don't think okay, that there's another guy who's just bullshitting and tries to pitch us something stupid. When it comes from Finland, it, it is kind of more credible thing and, and really helps you to, to, to move forward. So these were a few words uh, about uh, what, what I think about Finland as a starting point for setting up a new business. And I wanted to conclude by showing you a, a small video giving you a glimpse of what this Hatch experience is all about and how cloud-based gaming will, will look like on your phone pretty soon. So have a look. This is for you, the pioneers, the rookies and the pros, the influencers, the late-nighters and the early risers. This is for you, the entertainers, the creative and the curious, and the arcade lovers. This is for you, who want something different, something you haven't seen before, a place to share new experiences, where you can enjoy every game together, where friends meet for a good time at any time, changing the way you play and changing the game forever. This is for you. Patch, the game changer. So Hatch.live, please visit our website and you can sign up with your phone number and as soon as we're coming to your market, you will be first to get to play Hatch and games on demand. We are currently on uh, beta testing in Europe, but uh, during the second half of the year we'll start opening up markets uh, starting from Europe and rolling out the service to many users. Thanks a lot and any questions I'm happy to take. Thank you. Out.